Hi there, this is Max with Outpre.io. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to build a complete mobile app uh, with a mobile backend with an external API, and then we will also build a one-page mobile app which will display the information from that external API. All right, so let's get started. And so the first thing we're going to create the backend for the app, and for that I'm going to use API Express, and I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call this people. So we're going to use a people REST API, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So we just created a brand new project. And then let's create a new service. And we can call this maybe a list here. And I'm going to switch to custom because I'm going to be connecting to an external REST API. And click create. Right? And so it loads the visual service editor. Let's give this a name. So this is the start component. This is the input uh, and also the name. Let's call this people. Okay. And because I'm going to be invoking a REST API, I'm going to use a REST component. Right. Now the API that I'm going to use is right here from random user. So it's a pretty cool API for, uh, for demos and testing is that um, it returns a list of uh, people and has a lot of you know different information that you can uh, show. I know you know name to location uh, and you know password and so on. So the actual that I'm going to use is already right here. So I'm displaying just the name, location, and email instead of displaying all the fields. And I have ten users. So let's take this and I select the rest uh, component and I enter the URL. Uh, so all my information, all the parameters are hard-coded, but of course you can make these to be dynamic parameters that you set in runtime. But now I'm, I need to set the response for the REST component, and I click Generate, and I can basically test the API, and I can see that it works, and I'm going to use this, the response, uh, set the response for the REST component, right? Then finally, I can quickly go to uh, the end component, and I'm just going to keep everything here as is. Um, and this is the response. So actually, um, I'm going to change this to the, so instead of body, I'm going to change it to body body, which is the response of this component. So I'm just taking the response from REST and passing it and making it the response of the API Express service. All right? Let's click Save and let's test. So we're testing the backend, which again connects to an external API. Let's click Test. And here we go, we get the result. All right, so we got the backend, which again connects to an external REST API. Now let's work on the actual app or the client side. So we're going to go here, let's create a new app. I'm going to call this people. Now in this particular example, I'm going to use jQuery mobile. And then also in another video, I'm going to use Ionic. Let's click create. All right, so we... Um, just created a brand new app and there is already a page and let's call this people and we can maybe remove the footer here we don't need it now the, again the app uh, will be pretty simple we'll just drag and drop a list component and I just need to have one item because I'm going to be loading the data uh, from a list and here I'm going to drag and drop there's a label here um, so we'll just keep it simple, first name, uh, last name, and we can do email, for example. All right, uh, let's quickly just change this, some formatting, and something like this. All right, so this is the UI, very straightforward. So now, how do I uh, connect to my API Express service? That's very simple to do uh, via Create New. I'm going to select API Express service so I can easily import the service. So we've got people. And there we go. Right, the service is imported. Now you can always test the service inside the app builder just to make sure it works. Right? And we get inf the information that we saw before. Uh, and next we're gonna go uh, from design, we're gonna switch to data and we're going to add the service to the page. So because there has no inputs, um, the service, we don't need to do any input mapping, but we do need to display the result on the page. 
And so we're going to say this is, uh, we'll iterate over all the uh, people on the list. And then we're going to take first name. We're going to take, uh, let's see, last name. And let's see, where's the email? Email is right here. All right. The last thing before testing, we're going to go to design and um, we need to invoke the service. So in this case, I'm going to invoke it on page when the page is shown. So I select the page in breadcrumbs. I'm just going to switch to page show event. And then I'm going to say invoke the service and save. All right. Let's quickly save and let's test. All right. And here we go. Uh, I forgot to take out the icon, but you can easily do that as well. Remove the icon. But um, you can see, so this is information that um, we loaded from our backend, which is again in turn connects to an external uh, REST API. So this is testing in the browser. And you know, let's assume this is your app. Uh, once you're done, you can quickly build a binary for Android and uh, iOS. You can also test this app on the device. Uh, you don't have to install it right away. You can use the Apriaio Tester app um, to test the app on a device without having to install it. And there is information here, uh, links where you can download uh, the app. All right. So this was just a quick example just to show you basically how to build a complete mobile app with the REST API, with the back end, and then the actual app and how to display data uh, from that uh, back end. So I hope it was helpful. And thank you for watching.